to Denise Marie, uh, the informed model, please. Here we go. Thank you, Denise. Informed mama. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Denise. I represent a few organizations called, uh, the first one called the Informed Mama, where I talk about the safety and efficacy of vaccines. I also represent Latinos for Medical Freedom, which is an organization brought upon because our demographic is targeted for votes. Uh, so I want to talk to you guys about the bills that are coming up uh, in California. The first one we are fighting is SB 276, which is a bill that's going to put your children on databases. Uh, they want to track your kids. It's a bill to also uh, force vaccinate, even if your child has been vaccinated and is now vaccine injured. But what we're seeing here is a little bit different than what we've seen before. Lorena Gonzalez is chair of the committee that she's introducing this bill to, and the way that she reacted and the way that she acted as holding the chair was disgusting. We are facing, organiz or, or organizations are facing representatives who forgot who they work for. They forgot they are elected representatives. They forgot they can be voted out. So I'm here to kind of uh, embrace the Patriot organization because every single organization out there is connected. Every single one. It doesn't matter where you're from. It doesn't matter what you support. We're supporting freedom in the United States. That's, right now, that's in jeopardy. Who wants to have their children tracked on a database that is not secure? Because schools are tracking. Schools are taking that information and giving it to public health. They're giving it to news stations. They're giving it to reporters. And it's not safe. Our children are not safe in the United States anymore. We're now facing, with this bill, if we do not vaccinate, CPS is gonna get involved. And we all know that CPS is a child trafficking organization. Any personal experience. Personal, personal experience. I mean, we've seen it. We see that, that CPS comes to your door and forces you to treat your children the way they think that you should be treating your children. Even if that means coming into your house and you have dirty clothes on the floor and then they want to take your kids away and put them with pedophiles. We're seeing it. We see it every single day. So I'm hoping that you guys come out and understand what SB 276 is. Lorena Gonzalez wants our Latino vote. They only want our Latino vote because they know that we saturate California. They tell us that it's okay to come here illegally. It's okay because we have all kinds of services for you as long as you comply. What is wrong with California right now? These representatives forgot who they work for. They forgot they are elected, and they forgot they can be taken out of those chairs. So we see SB 276, but SB 277 was the beginning of the downfall of medical freedom in California. They force vaccinate, even if you have vaccinated. I vaccinated my kids, and they still call me an anti-vaxxer. I vaccinated my children, and they got hurt, just like any other pharmaceutical industry product there is a risk. With there, when there is a risk, there must be a choice. So now we're facing Senator Pan, Lorena Gonzalez, and her husband, um, Nathan Fletcher, who get on social media and talk about their constituents in a disrespectful manner. They tell their constituents that they want to fight. Their family has asked us to fight Nathan Fletcher. Instead of having an actual conversation in California, our representatives now want to fight us. It's not the behavior that a elected rep should have. A seat that is a gift to them from the California voters. It's time to take California back. And the only way we can do that is by getting together. It doesn't matter which rally you go to because we're all connected in every single way. They want to take our kids and they want to take our second amendment. They want to take our ammo. They want background checks for ammo. Ooh. How are we going to protect our family if we don't have ammunition? How are we going to protect our family against representatives that are in full-blown tyranny? That's where we're at right now. We're in full-blown tyranny. We have them telling us we want 
fourth medical procedures, but anybody else who comes from a different country, it's completely okay to not have vaccines. It's completely okay to not have your background checked. But our children are for sale to the pharmaceutical company. Our children have been for sale for a very, very long time, unfortunately. So if you guys want to get involved with Latinos for Medical Freedom, you do not have to be a Latino. The reason why we did it is because they want our vote. So now we gotta play that card too. <laughs> we gotta let them know, you want our vote. You need to work with the families in California and restructure California because they have, they have done away with the family unit. It takes two parents to work. It takes children being in public school. And now we have public school teaching our children sexual behavior. We have public school correlating with Planned Parenthood, standards. bringing them on campus to teach them about sex ed and tell them that it's okay to have abortions without parental consent. It's okay, you're gonna get HPV vaccine. That's completely okay without telling your parents. But what happens when something happens, when something goes wrong? We pay our kids insurance but we're not allowed to look at their medical records. We pay our kids insurance, but we're not allowed to know if they have an abortion or if they have contraceptives or if they have the HPV vaccine. That's Bill AB 499 in California, Governor Brown signed. So I'm hoping that everybody gets involved with your children, understand what's happening in the school system because the school system is a number, public enemy number one at this point. They do not care about our kids. They do not care about the family unit. They want to take it away. They want to interfere. They want our children to lie to us. They want our children to believe what they say and don't believe what parents tell you. Don't trust your parents is the whole point of what the school districts are trying to do. Oh, yeah, AB 262 is also another bill in California that is uh, going to give the public health officer the ability to quarantine and detain anybody they see fit, anybody who they feel is a public threat. So in California, an outbreak is three or more, doesn't matter what it is. AB 262 is now in place to where they're gonna go after the homeless first, they're gonna go after people who've been in and out of jail second, and then they're gonna go after families. And in that bill, it says they can detain you until you either vaccinate or the 21 days after the last outbreak has occurred. It's crazy. Yeah. It's insane. We should not be having to fear our government. It should be the other way around. It's time to take our power back. It's time to show up to the hearings, even if it's not your hearings. Let them know that we're watching that we're gonna to continue to show up and we're gonna to continue to speak out and we're gonna to continue to speak against tyrannical representatives who do not represent California. It's time to take it back. So I'm hoping you guys show up to our next rallies, our hearings, show up to any hearing to show these representatives that we are not gonna sit down and take it. We're gonna stand up for our rights and we're gonna take back this state and we're gonna take back our country because it's all over the place. I wanna tell Jeffrey thank you so much. Where is he? Right here. There you are. <laughs> Thank you for allowing me to speak. I know my, my yeah. speeches are really short because I have a really much too late. But thank you for putting this on. It's important everybody realizes we're all connected. It doesn't matter what movement you're from. Everybody wants freedom of choice. Everybody wants freedom because that's that is the basis of American soil, is freedom. Right. So thank you for putting this on, I appreciate it. And if anybody needs to reach me, you can go on to theinformedmama.org and you can email me and we can uh, get in touch and let you guys know what bills are in place. Thank, thank you. you, Denise.